momentum, you know, it's funny. I wrote my first book, The Zen of Social Media Marketing, in very early days of social media when there really weren't any books even on the topic uh, and ended up going into its fourth edition and it's done really well. People use it to teach uh, social media in college classes. So it's just, it's been amazing to see that journey. What's funny though is when you write a book like that, the first question everybody asks you is, when is your next book? <laughs> And for most people, they'll write one right after a successful first book because, you know, you kind of ride that train. But for me, it wasn't so much about writing a book for the sake of writing it. It was more about creating something for market demand, right? I'm an entrepreneur first at heart. And so I look at things like market demand. And when I was looking at um, what kind of, you know, what, what's out there, what needs to be said, I didn't really see anything until fast forward like four or five years later. And they see this huge shift where I don't think it's so much about the um, the specifics, right? In the sense that it's no longer about the the platforms, like how do I set up a Twitter account and what's Facebook good for? And not that we don't have these questions or that the audience may not, but this is more we've gone from a place of like what you know, why is social media important to me? To okay, I get it. This is a whole new ecosystem. How do I make this world work for me? And so when you're asking that question, my answer to that question was momentum. So that's my second book. And it's uh, out in paperback now. And, and in the book, I really talk a lot about the sort of these principles that you need that are sort of the framework for an ever-changing world landscape. The thing that we're noticing, of course, more than anything, is that there's always new platforms. So the number one question I often get is, you know, what's, what's the next platform? What is, what's the next hot thing? And my answer is, it's not so much about the, what's the next, next hot thing as it is that we're always evolving. Things are changing. But there are these certain principles that will never go out of fashion or they won't change. And one of those principles is content marketing, right? And this, this idea of how do you provide value. So the principles there can be applied to that. Like one of the principles in the book that I talk about is agility through analytics. And very simply, that means looking at your data. So earlier I mentioned you know, that we don't, um, so much of our content goes unshared, unseen. You know, it doesn't have that visibility. How do you give it that visibility? And the key thing about content and, and giving it that visibility is making sure that you are, uh, that you're looking at your data, you're looking at what's done well and doing more of that. It's amazing how many people don't do just that simple thing. Like here's some really low hanging practical fruit for small business owners out there. If you have a website and you are looking at your Google analytics, one of the basic things you should be looking at, which posts get the most traffic even on your blog. So you may just look at how much traffic your blog gets, but if you dig just a layer deep and say, which posts get the most traffic, just by updating some of those posts, you can get more traffic and conversions, right? Um, for example, on our blog at Zen Media, you can go check it out. We have so many, um, we have so many blog posts. We've been blogging since, you know, 2005, 2006. So, but we always look at the content and we say, okay, which posts do people love? Like one of our most popular posts, so random, I would have never guessed it in a million years, is something like six business review sites, you know, top business review sites. But people visit that page often, it ranks well. So we've periodically gone in and updated it to make sure that the content is fresh and relevant. So this is a really good example of content marketing where we're not necessarily creating brand new content over and over. We're looking at what's already of interest and how do we make sure that's relevant and fresh.